Hello everyone and welcome back to our final video this week on functions. Today we're going to talk about higher order functions. Now up until now we've had functions and we've been able to write them, we've got arrow functions, we've been able to put in parameters, but higher order functions are functions that take other functions as parameters. So instead of just data, instead of just a variable, it takes another function. One example of a higher order function is the set interval. What this does is this takes two parameters. The first parameter is a function and the second parameter is a time in milliseconds. And what it will do is it will run the first function every however many minute milliseconds you put. So let's create a function. Const um, my func equals make an error function. And all we're going to do is we're going to console.log um, I don't know. Okay, one, two, three, let's jam. You've never seen Cowboy Bebop. It's fantastic. So we've got this function, and all it does, if I call it, is it just prints that out to the console. Nothing special. But we can call set interval to call my func every 1,000 milliseconds. And you'll see here, this is going up. And even if I clear the console, this continues to increment. Because it's the, the console, it, it just basically lumps them together if it's the same message over and over again. But you can see here that this is being logged to the console every second. One thing to note, when we set that, we did not call the function. We did not do the parentheses because that will actually run the function. We don't want to run the function. We want to reference the function. So set interval is a higher order function. The first one, the first thing that it takes is a whatever function that you want. The second thing is the time frame. We could also, instead of declaring a function beforehand and then setting our interval, we could just declare a function right inside. Set interval, and we could just declare an error function right here. Um, console out. Oops. Console out log. I'm an arrow function. And then we can do that every 2,000 milliseconds. Run. I'm an arrow function. It runs it every two seconds. You can see this is still increasing. So this is just one example of a higher order function. And we will use a lot of these when we get into the back end. But for now, just understand that you can pass functions as parameters to other functions. So what we talked about is the higher order functions, and they are simply functions that take other functions as parameters. We also talked about how you can declare your functions inline like that using anonymous functions so that you don't have to clutter up your code with a bunch of other function definitions that you never use again. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.